I see, and me and Luke see a lot of empty lands. Empty lands that they don't know what to do with them, so they're just gonna keep them empty. So that's why I would, I would turn some of them into skate parks. I don't, I don't think there's 19. Yeah, there's not 19. That's just 19. in one area. Yeah, there's, we're gonna like build 19. Or there's gonna be 19. I know what the best one is. Which one? Department. <laughs> skate parks downtown? I don't really know. I think there's a lot of like offices downtown and like people shop a lot downtown. Okay, uh, how many skate parks do you know about in Portland? In Portland, I think there's like, there's Glen Haven, Pier Park. They just opened a new one called Gabriel. And there's a new one, a street plaza they're building out in Southeast. So there's probably like four or five. We are looking for Samuel Adams' contact page. We are from Youth Youth Doc. Project Youth Doc. And we would like to organize a meeting. Okay. the lady's email address and she said that if we uh, state the deadline in the email she'll get back to us before then. Tom Miller. Uh, who's that? Uh, the chief of staff for Samuel Adams. Just do it nice and slowly around here. You got a lot of senior citizens and people can't see too good. We just sat down with the manager of Wells Fargo. We asked her multiple questions about the kinks in the grinding spots and other things. And she said that she was not willing to do an interview. However, she did give us very useful information about why they uh, put up those uh, kinks in the rails. She said that she had a, a pretty dangerous encounter with a skateboarder recently. And she said that uh, some of the skaters there were older than us, but they had um, been in jail before. And so that's another reason they put up those kinks because they don't, you, they walk into the situation and they don't, and they don't know who or um, the people, the skaters' backgrounds, and that can be very dangerous. Two people or two groups? I know I would have said parks and recs. So what kind of questions are you going to ask? Just uh, mainly stuff about skate parks in downtown Portland. My name's Tom Miller, and I'm the chief of staff for uh, City Commissioner and Mayor Lack Sam Adams here in Portland, Oregon. Okay, um, so how many uh, public skate parks are downtown? In downtown Portland? Yeah. None. And do you know why that is? Yeah, it's because um, the 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 value of land in the in the downtown part of Portland is really high. It's really expensive, okay. so it, the land tends to get um, uh, developed for office buildings or or condo towers, that sort of thing. How much would it cost to like develop an entire skate park? Well, uh, great question, and it really varies on on um, where you build and how you build and what kind of, what um, the nature of the skate park. The general rule of thumb is that a skate park, a high quality concrete skate park built by, you know, world class design build firms costs about 30 to $35 per square foot. So a typical skate park is about 10,000 square feet. So let's say $30 a square foot, that's actually cheap, let's say uh, $35 a square foot in today's cost, multiplied by 10,000 square feet is about 350,000 bucks to wow. build a 10,000 square foot skate park. The presumption a few years ago, in fact, less than five years ago, there was a stereotype, right, about among decision makers and especially folks in the, in the bureaus like Portland Parks and Recreation, and I can tell you this because I experienced it as a skateboarder myself, 
that the presumption was that if we start talking about building public skate parks in the city, people are going to get really angry because you know, people are afraid of skateboarders because skateboarders, you know, bring, uh, the skateboarders do drugs and skateboarders, you know, tag skate parks and skateboarders, you know, are loud and, 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 and they're problematic people, mm -hmm. you know, and so I was there as an advocate, yeah. you know, saying, what are you talking about? Look, I'm a taxpayer, yeah. I'm a lawyer, I'm a family man, I'm married, I have a child, I do all these things and I also ride a skateboard, right? And the 10-year-olds next to me and the 12-year-olds, boys and girls, we're, we're just skateboarders, right? Yeah. So we're just regular people. We just have a good time rolling around on, on wood and wheels, right? Yeah. So yeah, so you could be coming, like right now, right? You could be coming all the way from Hillsboro, right? Like 35 miles out. You could be on the train, chilling, headphones, hanging out with your friends, whatever, right? Get off the train, and you're going to see this in like five minutes. Boom, you're at the skate park. Ada Parkway and Northwest Everett, right in the heart of downtown. Across the street from Waterfront Park, right on the Willamette River. And we're about to see the Steel Bridge Skate Park site. This is the downtown Portland, Oregon Skate Park site. This is about 46,000 square feet. It's a big site. This, one day, will be the best skate park in the entire city. And if we do it right, it'll be the best skate park in the world. Got a little bit of coverage, right? Yeah. So we, we could add on to that for the winter time. Build it with a roof and lights so you can skate all year round. Wow. Right? That'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's got a little bit of topography that already kind of lends itself to skateboarding. We may be able to permanently close this street. And that could be cool because then you could extend the footprint of the skate park all the way out here. Wow. The skate park could come out here, right? And you could have access from Flanders, First Avenue in Flanders. And it's big. This is really unusual. A piece of property downtown that hasn't been built on. Yeah. And the reason why it hasn't been built is because it's kind of a strange shape. It's a little bit hard to get to. And for developers, developers like to like s squares and rectangles because it's easier to build, right? Most buildings are right angles. Yeah. But here, this is kind of a teardrop shaped site. So it's a little weird. And so um, it's, it's awkward. This is kind of this no man's land of property that's never been developed. And the private market doesn't want to, is not interested in the site because it's too, it's too strange. It's too hard to imagine how to, how to put something on this site. All of which makes it perfect for a skate park. Perfect for a skate park. Bye. Bye.